Hello, Captains, and welcome to this X-Plane 10 video. Is X-Plane too dark for your liking? That's what I've been reading in the forums for a lot of folks out there, is that X-Plane is too dark, um, especially at night, uh, where you can't see the terrain or you can't see the buttons inside the virtual cockpit, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, I've been also uh, I've been also asked by a lot of you um, as to what can we do to brighten X-Plane a little bit to make it, you know, more um, kind of suits your liking, uh, or that it will allow you to actually see at night. And I would have to admit that yes, this is a problem in in X-Plane uh, where you can't really see much when kind of past 8 p.m. Uh, I think uh, where it's really dark, uh, you can't really see much. Um, so uh, today I'm going to actually give you a tip, uh, a solution uh, to this problem that will forever uh, put this behind your back. Um, no more dark uh, cockpits, no more dark X-plane, and I will show you how you can uh, basically um, customize uh, the brightness and the colors of explain uh, you know to suit your liking uh, now one thing before we begin um, uh, to me I like explain the way it is um, I kind of play with uh, two things uh, normally I play with the gamma uh, which is in the settings here so if we go to the render see this number here um, I tend not to increase uh, this number more than 2.1 because it will cause the colors to kind of look kind of washed out. Um, so I keep this at 2.1. Um, you can definitely experiment with this a little bit, uh, but be wary that increasing this number beyond 2.3, 2.4, uh, you're going to start, you know, getting some loss of uh, quality. So. Um, and the other thing I use, of course, which you may already know, is the Real Terra Haze uh, version 4.0, uh, and that also helps me. Um, normally, I go to the light settings here, and this option here is the cockpit gamma, um, and you can increase this number uh, or decrease this number depending on you know your preference uh, to kind of see uh, inside the virtual cockpit at night, but. With everything as it is, there is yet another plugin which I came across by mere coincidence, which is called Blue FX. Now, this uh, plugin, I had trouble finding it on the net, so when I did find it, I decided to download it and upload it to my Dropbox, and I'll make it available for you guys uh, to download. So let's see what. Uh, there you go, Blue FX. Okay, so that this plugin here allows you to change the brightness, the contrast, saturation, red scale, green scale, blue scale, all kinds of different uh, colors that you can use to basically make your explain the way you like. And the very nice thing about it also is it's got all these presets. Okay, so let's go ahead and say, for example, Polaroid. Uh, for a Polaroid. Uh, you get this uh, you kind of a photo. Um, it, the nice thing about it, it gives you the before and after, so you can see for yourself whether, yes, this is what I want, or no, this is not what I want. Fogged up. Look at that. You see the difference here between this and this? This is default x with, of course, default with real Terra Haze, and this is basically with the fogged up um, and you, as you can see, you can change the uh, yeah, you can change the settings here as well for these presets. Okay, this is the editor's choice, which is you know very nice. It looks uh, a bit brighter than uh, than the default explain, uh, slightly enhanced. So this is a bit of an enhancement over the um, extra gloomy. Uh, look at that! Oh, I like that. That's really nice. It might be a little too dark for some of you, but I kind of like this. Reddish, greenish, bluish. Look at that. That's really nice. Shiny California. And then dusty dry, gray winter, fancy imagination, 
the 60s, cold winter, that's almost black and white, vintage film, if you're making a vintage film, colorless, so that's completely no colors, and monochrome. Okay, now you can play with all of these uh, for sure. I kind of like the editor choice and I like um, this one here, fogged up. I, I kind of like these. This one is also nice too. So, you can actually play with this as much as you like and also it's got an FPS limiter. Wow, that's a really nice feature to have. Um, if you kind of, for me, I just kind of leave x running at uh, unlimited frames. But uh, if you want to limit your frames to a particular number, you can do this. Uh, on some machines, that will help kind of give you a smoother experience. And you can also control the, uh, uh, control the cinema camera. Uh, from here, it will kind of, you know, I, I personally don't like it. As you can see now, the screen started uh, kind of moving around. Uh, it's nice for making videos, uh, but it's not at all nice for um, flying. It, it just kind of makes me dizzy. Um, so let me get rid of it. All right. So as you can see, uh, folks, uh, there's a lot. This is now the, for example, the extra gloomy. Um, look at that. Yeah. See this? And I think uh, this application can really help you make uh, great videos uh, if you're into making videos like myself, or uh, you could just uh, see, let's say, reset. And now we're back to um, the default uh, x um basically uh, colors and uh, uh, contrast levels. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the flight deck. Okay, this is the A320, Jar Design A320. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the time to... Okay, as you can see now, everything is pretty darn dark inside the virtual cockpit. And let's go ahead and bring up Blue FX. Where did it go? There we go. Blue FX. And now let's go ahead and look at the different, the difference in color. Look at that. It's now starting to look different. There we go. Editor's choice. As you can see now, you can see at least the buttons. Uh, so you can click these buttons. Um, let's see, slightly enhanced, extra gloomy. Of course, you won't see a thing. Reddish, greenish, bluish. Shiny California, and as you can see, it will definitely um, improve your um, ability to see um, inside the virtual uh, inside the virtual cockpit. Okay, let's switch to outside view. Okay, and this is basically. By the way, we are situated at Innsbruck, um, so let me. Let me go over here. All right, so that's a picture. Yes, all right, so let's go ahead and bring up Blue FX again. And let's take a look. There you go. As you can see, you can definitely cycle through, play, and change the, you know, the settings here to obtain the, um, best results that basically fits your preference. Okay, folks, so this is what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, I do want to give uh, credit to the creator of uh, Blue FX, uh, a guy by the name of Ma Matteo Hosner, I believe. That's his name right there. So thank you very much for creating this plugin for um, x 10. Uh, folks, I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. I hope that it's been a useful video. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye for now.